the people that met Jesus for the first time after he'd been raised from the dead that we're going to hear about from the Bible today felt like this. See if you can guess. Maybe you said something like scared or frightened. Well done if you did. I wonder what frightens you. Moths frighten me. The fluttering and the way they kind of dive bomb you sometimes. And I know it doesn't make sense because I know they can't hurt me. Yet they still scare me. They just scare me. They always have. So there can be things that frighten us that we know shouldn't really. But there are also things that we're frightened of because we know that they can hurt us or we just don't understand enough about them, can't there? And today we're going to hear about the first time that Jesus appeared to his disciples after he'd risen from the dead. And they were frightened when they first saw him because as we said the other day, although they'd heard Jesus say that this was going to happen, they hadn't really fully understood what he was talking about. So when they saw Jesus alive again, it was almost like a complete surprise to them. Let's hear what happened. Today's passage is from the book of Luke and it's chapter 24 and verses 36 to 49. This part of Jesus' life happened just after Jesus had appeared to two friends walking along a road. He chatted with them and he'd eaten a meal with them before disappearing from their sight. And then these two friends had rushed back to Jerusalem to tell Jesus' disciples that it was true that Jesus had risen and had appeared to somebody called Simon. And so the part of the Bible we're looking at today happens just after these two friends have come and told them that they've seen the risen Jesus. While they were still talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and frightened, thinking they saw a ghost. He said to them, Why are you troubled, and why do doubts rise in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and feet. And while they still did not believe it because of joy and amazement, he asked them, Do you have anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish and he took it and ate it in their presence. He said to them, This is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms. There are lots of places in the Old Testament where Jesus isn't mentioned exactly, but things are said about him that look ahead to the time when he was going to be in the world to come and do all of those miracles and to heal people and to teach people about God and to die on the cross and rise again three days later. And Jesus knew that all of these things had already been written about him. So that's what he was talking about to his disciples here. Then the Bible goes on to say, then he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told them, this is what is written. The Christ will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day and repentance and forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I am going to send you what my father has promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. And here Jesus was talking about the Holy Spirit that God was going to send to his disciples and anyone who believes and trusts in Jesus to be with them after Jesus had gone back into heaven to be with God. So when the disciples first saw the risen Jesus, they were frightened. Can you remember why? That's right, they thought he was a ghost, didn't they? And well, they might, 
because in the book of John, who also talks about this, he says that the door was locked because the disciples were frightened. They were maybe frightened because they thought that something bad would happen to them because they'd been really good friends with Jesus. And if we look again at that first verse we heard read, we hear that Jesus came and stood among them, almost making it sound as though he just appeared there. I think I might have been a bit frightened if I'd have been there as well, don't you? But Jesus reassured them, didn't he? He understood their fear and their worries and reassured them by proving to them that he really was real again. He still was fully human. He told them to touch him, to feel that he still had real skin and real bones again. And then he went even further by asking if they had something to eat, proving that he was fully human once more, because ghosts can't eat anything, can they? Where would the food go? Perhaps there are two things in this part of the Bible that assure us that Jesus is the best person to rely on, not just when we're feeling frightened, but all the time. If we look right back at the beginning of this passage, it told us that Jesus stood among them, almost as though he just appeared there. And although in some ways that might seem a bit scary, I think if we think about who Jesus really is, it reminds us that although he was a real man, he also was fully God as well and had the same power as God himself. And then this son of God greeted his disciples with which words? Can you remember what the first words were that Jesus spoke to the disciples when he saw them? That's right, he said, peace be with you, didn't he? And when we believe and trust in Jesus, we too can know that peace from Jesus. Peace that the Bible tells us is far more powerful and far bigger than we can understand or imagine. Peace that can be with us and help us, not just when we feel frightened, but all the time. Let's say a prayer about that together. You can do the prayer drill if you like. Ready? One, two, three. Lord Jesus, thank you that you can give us peace that helps us to feel braver and stronger, even when frightening things are going on around us. Help us to remember to turn to you and ask for that peace whenever we need to. Amen.